What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Berm, coach of your New York Licks, and this is our final week of the Pokemon Masters League. We're taking on Izzy and the Midnight Mimikyu's. Go check out Izzy. Their description will be, or their uh, information will be in the description below. Uh, Izzy does other draft leagues too, so if, if you're going to be sad of not seeing me do draft battles, at least for the immediate future, uh, go check out Izzy. Go check out Glabber and Devin. They got other draft leagues going on, so... Uh, uh, you can definitely still get your fix by, by checking out my opponents. Um, additionally, we uh, made playoffs last week by beating Glauber. Glauber was in playoff contention, as were we, and because we handed them a loss uh, and we picked up the win, great game to Glauber, by the way. That was probably my most fun battle of this whole season. Very offensive game. Um, we ended up clinching playoffs last week, meaning that none of the battles in the PML matter for playoff contention this week. They only matter for playoff position. I don't totally mind. I think uh, I think if I'm going to battle the best of the best, I'm going to have to beat all of them to win the championship anyway, right? Uh, but regardless, we did make playoffs. And so this week I'm bringing sets that are kind of a little bit weird because it doesn't totally matter if I win. Um, I'm obviously going to try to beat Izzy. I'm going to try to play to the best of our ability. And my sets aren't that crazy. They're all going to be like winnable sets. Um, but if we can also pull off some weird stuff, I'm kind of for that. And also refrain from using sets that I might want to use in playoff. Uh, I'm cool with that too. So that's what we're doing today. Uh, if you're excited to see this battle, me playing against Izzy, definitely like, comment, and subscribe. Um, because I'm using weird sets on weird Pokemon all the time. It's just usually in VGC. But I'm also doing it here sometimes too. So if you're not subscribed, consider it. Uh, and I'm going to jump into a team builder really quick right here. If you don't care about that, jump ahead if you haven't already. I've been talking for 10 minutes straight. Uh, first Pokemon we have here is Grim, our Scyther. I've only brought it once so far this season. Um, but Scyther is very, very good. It just hasn't been right for the matchups so far this season. Um, but I'm bringing it again this week, and this time we're bringing a Swords Dance set. I'm going to try and see. I like the idea of having Dual Wingby because Izzy, you can see her team above, uh, has Mimikyu, so I can pop... If I'm, at, if I'm at plus two, I can pop their disguise and also get a hit in. Which would be real nice. And we're holding the Avia Light. Um, next up, we have Salazzle, Last Dab. Nasty Plot, Flamethrower, Substitute, and Belch. Bet you don't know what Belch does, does you? Uh, Belch, <laughs> do you? Belch, uh, you can't use until you've eaten your berry. So it's a Citrus Berry set. I can pop my own Citrus Berry with Substitute. I can set up Nasty Plots, and then Belch is just a super strong... How much base damage is it? It's a 120 base damage, 90 accuracy, and I have no idea what the animation is, so if we can get Belch off, I would love that, and I'll uh, throw it in the thumbnail. But you already know that, don't you? You know if we got Belch off in this battle. Uh, next up, we have Beer Fridge. This is a Choice Specs Rotom for the first time this season. Volt Switch, Blizzard, Thunderbolt, and Trick. If I can trick a Choice Specs onto that Rhydon or that, uh, maybe not the Slow Bro, on the Rhydon or the Mimikyu uh, or the Axel Gore, maybe not the Axel Gore, the Braviary or the, uh, ooh, yeah, it's like um, Braviary, Bisharp, Rhydon, and Mimikyu are all really great uh, trick. Uh, contenders in, in this set uh, but it, other than that it's timid max speed max, max special attack just trying to do some damage uh, we have foam wallet keys keys got magnet rise this week it's probably to, trying to 1v1 some stuff I'm not trying to get hit by no earthquakes from ride on there uh, but it's also got toxic try to slow stuff down uh, not slow stuff down uh, weaken stuff with toxic uh, get through that mimic cube I going for toxic foul play is also really nice in case they get uh, some boosts with their Bisharp or their Braviary, uh, and Defog, just because I saw that they have uh, Axel Gore, they have um, Tentacruel, they have ways of setting lots of hazards that I don't want to have to deal with, honestly. So we have Prankster Defog this week. Go figure. Uh, we're bringing <laughs> we're bringing Lugie Lugie this week. Uh, <laughs> it's Choice Banded, and it's got Explosion, Power Whip, Earthquake, and Knock Off. I just remembered that I decided on this set. I... <laughs> <laughs> Surprise myself there. If we can get a choice band explosion off and delete something off the face of the earth, that would be amazing. Obviously, we can't go for choice band explosion on Mimikyu. Um, that would be a bummer if, if that's what ended up happening. But if they don't bring Mimikyu, they don't have a ghost type, and we can explode on anything we want. Uh, Licky Licky's just there to stop something. You know, it can take hits pretty well, so if it can just stop something by going for explosion, it might delete itself off the field, but if it also stops something else, that's what Licky Licky is for. I also don't know what the explosion um, 
animation looks like. So maybe that'll be on the thumbnail. You'll already know that either way. Uh, and we have Irwin this week. Irwin was a bring. It was a must bring based on like the typing of their team. Like Irwin has a really good matchup against almost every single one of these opponents, especially like the only one that doesn't have an immediate great uh, matchup against is like the Mimikyu and the Appleton. And for Appleton, we have Scale Shot, and for Mimikyu, we're holding a Roselli Berry. So we're going to be taking one super effective fairy hit super well. Uh, and then we can go for knockoff or we can go for something, but if we can, it's also moxie. So if we can sweep with, get get one speed boost with scale shot and then just try to sweep, that would be amazing. Uh, I think it's a jolly set, I'm pretty sure. Anyway, all that being said, I hope you're ready for this week's battle. It's gonna be a fun one. Hopefully it's a good battle. But again, if we lose, not the end of the world. We clinched playoffs and uh, I'm super happy about that. So thanks for your support and uh, let's jump right into this battle. What do you think? All right, we're connecting here with Izzy. Let's see. Let's see what Izzy brought. I don't. I don't know what to expect. If there's no Mimikyu, that's great. But if not, that's okay. There is a Mimikyu. There is an Appleton. Ooh. Okay. No Rhydon. No Bisharp. No Braviary. That's wild. I should have brought Intimidate. I should have brought Intimidate on on Crocodile. The whole reason I didn't bring Intimidate because I was like, oh look, all these Defiant users are probably gonna bring one of those two. Nope. Uh, that said, Crocodile still looks pretty nice. Um, if I can get up a scale shot, mm, I'm probably gonna have to pop the disguise before I set up Crocodile too. Actually, regardless, nothing wants to switch into an earthquake, so I think uh, I think Irwin's gonna be pretty nice here. Who do I want to lead though? I feel like I can lead um, Rotom really easily and just get a choice spec something off because they didn't bring their ground type, right? So no ground type means I can just go for an electric move and it can be a volt switch. Who do I want to, I, I guess, uh, see, Bolton could be special attacking, so I don't even know what I want to put choice specs on. I guess I could try to put it on the uh, the Mimikyu, if I think that's a possibility, but I don't see them leading Mimikyu. Let's see, though. Good luck, have fun to Izzy. Um, may there be minimal hacks, and may the timer not come into play. Cheers. Look at this bougie drink. Cinnamon sugar rim. <laughs> oh, it's fall, baby. All right, Axel War comes out first. Totally don't mind about that. Um, this thing goes for like final gambit. <laughs> That'd be pretty crazy. But Volt Switch is a pretty easy choice for me. I don't want to put choice specs on a on a Axel Gore because Axel Gore, if it's gonna run physical move, if it's gonna run attacking moves, it's probably gonna run Bug Buzz. And final Gambit has nothing to do with your attack stat, right? It's a physically attacking move, I think, technically, but it's based on your HP, isn't it? Mud shot? Oh no. Does not affect beer fridge. Okay, so that's pretty good for us. Um, mud shot though, that's interesting. Uh, I feel like I can go into Gram really easily and just go, oh, I don't have U-turn. I have bug bite, not U-turn. Well, do I want to just go for a, um... I forgot to do all of this. I could just go for a sword stance, maybe. But I think they're gonna like. No, because Boltund is still, still gonna outspeed me, I think. I'll just go for a safe bug bite. Uh, I don't need Braviary. I don't need Bisharp. Somebody else is coming in. Somebody's gonna take this bug bite. Boltund? I don't care if Boltund takes a bug bite. That's nice. That's nice. And no Flareon either, right? No. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, Bolton didn't like that. Um, and I don't know what Bolton does totally, but I'm pretty sure I can easily switch into Irwin here. Uh, I can read the electric move, but I'm actually not totally sure. Fire Fang. Interesting. Interesting. Okay, didn't get the burn. That's awesome. Sorry, I'm trying to figure out my little models here. They matter to me. I don't know if anybody else cares about them, but they're important to me. Okay, cool. Uh, let's go. Bolt Hunt. Bolt Hunt. That did a good amount of damage. I'm just going to go for a knockoff. Tentacruel's coming in. I think we're faster. I'm pretty sure I can go for an Earthquake here. Knocked off Black Sludge. That did so much damage. 
Do I want to switch into something else just in case? I could switch into... Ooh, you know what? I'm going to switch into um, Rotom here. Tentacle's pretty speedy. I don't know if it naturally outspeeds Crocodile, but I'm not Choice Scarf, so... Better safe than sorry. Go into Rotom here. See what they want to do. Protect. Okay, great. This is great. I can just Volt Switch right off of whatever wants to come in. Again, no ground types. No ground types were brought in the making of my opponent's team. Here comes Appleton. Cool. So what I can actually do now is I can go into Salazzle. <laughs> let's go into Salazzle. Uh, yeah, let's go into Salazzle. Let's try to get a sub. Um, maybe they switch out or maybe they at least show us some moves, but we're going to be faster here. We are going to be faster here. Let's try and get a sub. Appleton's leaving. Slowbro's coming out. Okay. I think I can KO this Slowbro if I get a nasty plot up. I have to get a nasty plot up, but then I have to sub... You know what? How much did I just lose there? I don't think I have the right HP invested. Let's just see something. Hold on, I want to see something. Let's get nasty plot off. Okay. Calm Mind. They're just going for their own stuff. I can't actually activate Belch until... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Um, I'm gonna go for another Nasty Plot. This is weird, because I can't, I can't go for Belch until I pop my Citrus Berry, meaning I need for them to attack. Or I could Dynamax. If I Dynamax, though, I get rid of my... Hmm. This is worrisome, for sure. Uh, I get rid of my sub if I Dynamax, is the thing. I can Nasty Plot again. I'm just gonna Nasty Plot again. Because if they're gonna go for Calm Mind, that's fine. And then maybe I just max Flare on the next turn. Weaken a water move? Nah, they'll probably go for a Psychic move anyway. They're just gonna sit there and Calm Mind. Are they... What is... What abilities does Slowbro get? I think I'm gonna max Ooze. I can't go for Belch. I can't Belch! Max Ooze, 95. Sitting at plus... Plus 3, technically, because they're plus 3 special defense. I know this. Slowbro does not get unaware. I'm sitting, it looks like a Pokemon that would get unaware, but it doesn't get... Here we go. Big Lizard, come on. If they just went for another Calm Mind... Like, I think... I think technically... Like, I don't think I'm gonna kill here. Oh, Dynamax Alas looks so good. I don't think I'm gonna kill here, but I could do a lot of damage. Let's just see. I can't belch. Yeah, it's a ton. Okay. Scald comes out. Ooh! Okay, so there goes my Dynamax. Of course on that turn they went for Scald. I should've just gone for Flamethrower. I should've just... Nah, because I couldn't have risked that they would just keep going for... Because for, they could have, like, um... Slack off and stuff, too. That's alright. That's all right. I can go into Bear Fridge here really easily. I can just go for a Thunderbolt even if I wanted to. Although I think Volt Switch would kill. Just any plus three. I'll go for a Thunderbolt. I'll respect the Calm Minds. Dynamax here would be really awesome on their part. Uh, because even though they're at low HP, it might save them from dying to this Thunderbolt. But this is Choice Specs Thunderbolt. Okay, good. Uh, okay, so... We lost our... Salazzle here. Unfortunately, before we could get off the... Uh, 
It was before we could get off the um, the belch strat. I have to switch out now. Who do I switch into? I think Phone Wallet can deal with this pretty well. Uh, if worst comes to worst, I can just Toxic. Um, and there goes Slowbro. 1v1. Body press. So is this thing like, um, what do we think? Is this like a uh, iron defense body press set? That'd be pretty cool. The biggest shame, honestly, is that we lost our, um, we lost our Dynamax. I just Dynamaxed on the wrong turn. Going for Scald on any other turn would have been perfect, because then I could have subbed again. As soon as I got Belch, I would have been good to go. There's Curse. Okay. So they're Curse Body Press. By going for Curse, though, they boost their own attack. Well, they boost their attack and their defense. I'm not too concerned. I'm not too concerned with Curse, to be honest. Because uh, we resist pretty much anything this wants to go for stab-wise. It doesn't even affect us with dragon moves. And we can just go for foul play. Klefki's got some uh, some play here. Ooh, Rocky Helmet, though. Right. There's a body press. He's gonna do a little more this time. You know what I could go into? I could go into Scyther super easily now. Uh... Yeah, I'm gonna call it. Either they're gonna go for another curse, I doubt it because of the toxic, but if they go for a body press, it's just gonna do nothing to Scyther. This is a good game so far, Izzy. Uh, man, that Slowbro matchup, I really wish I'd, I'd played that a little differently. I wanted to see what Belch looked like. I guess we have to go for Explosion now, right? Hopefully time permits an Explosion at some point. I'd like to get rid of the Mimikyu before we do that. Mimikyu's scary, since Izzy still has the Dynamax option. Um, but if we set up the right Pokemon, we could be okay. Uh, and that's why I want to save Klefki a little bit. Ooh. Out to Boltund. Wow, they were going to sack Boltund. I guess so. Uh, could go for a Fire Fang. What do I think? I could go for a Play Rough. If they went for a Play Rough, the Roselli Berry would save me, but then they could just go for Play Rough again. That's what Boltund has. It has Play Rough. Let's see if they read this time. This is the second time I switched it in. Just another Fire Fang. Okay. It does a ton of damage, though. I, I almost think, like, that's banded damage, I think. Makes me want to scale shot, honestly. What's the worst that can happen? Like, they're going to move first. I could knock off. If I went for scale shot and they went into, like, Mimikyu, that would stink. But I'm going to try it. Another Fire Fang. Ooh, it actually killed. I'm surprised. I am surprised. Call me surprised. Um, just don't call me late for supper. Okay. Uh, I think I go Beer Fridge here. Fire Fang is what they're in. Nah, it's not good. Uh, okay, let's go Licks. Let's just go for a knockoff. Uh, we're kind of in a bad spot, honestly. Um, losing Crook was not ideal there. That's definitely banded damage. I have to guess that's banded damage. There goes Crook. Hmm. Let's see, what's Boltund going into here? It's gonna get knocked off, whatever it is. Mimikyu? Knock off Mimikyu? Totally cool with that. Uh, and now I think I immediately go into Klefki. Uh, they're not gonna go for a ghost move. If anything, they go for, oh, it's Life Orb, okay. 
That means it might not be, uh... Huh. Keeping that bolt underground is scary, because that's the only thing that stops Scyther from doing a ton. Um, if this thing goes for Swords Dance... Okay, it's gonna Dynamax. Probably go for the Fairy move, though, right? We'll see how much this does. But Max Phantasm is going to do way more. I could switch back into Lickitung if this doesn't do if this doesn't do half of my remaining HP. I could switch back into Lickitung. Max Knuckle. Oh. Okay, they're definitely going to go for. If I'm Izzy, and I'm not, but if I'm Izzy. I'm going for Max Phantasm here, and I can switch right back into Lickitung to potentially stop that from being an issue. And I want to keep Foam Wallet around because Foam Wallet, I think, could still live a plus one Shadow Sneak after this thing is done Dynamaxing. Being Dynamaxed. Cool. Good read. Good read. Uh, do we want to try to try one more read? Or. If they go for a fairy move, I could go back into... Again, I could go back into... They're going to go for a max... They might go for... Honestly, they might go for max... Um, max... Fist again. I think I can go back into Phone Wallet. I do. Maybe they go for max fairy. And then film while it lifts. I'm just trying to stall out this Dynamax real quick. Come on, come on. Max Knuckle, okay, we're gonna live that. Um, they could have Shadow Sneak, which would stop me from being able to... We, we were able to stall the Dynamax to a certain extent. They got to plus two, but plus two I don't think is going to kill um, Scyther. So I think the play, I could go for foul play too if I think anything weird is going to happen, but I think they're just going to go for Shadow Snake. We land the Toxic, that's good. What is the fighting move that Mimikyu gets? Drain Punch? Ooh. Drain Punch. That's not the best in the world. But is it terrible? Um, I have to go into Scyther here. Uh, it's my only Pokemon left that can do anything. That can potentially live, I mean. Do anything defensively. Let's fight. Let's go for Dual Wing Beat. It's my only option. I guess I could have roosted, but what's the point in that? We hit the dual wing beat. Awesome, that's gonna do. Oh, not enough! Not enough! Shadow Claw to the face! Scyther, no. Okay, Scyther actually took that pretty good. The Violite's an amazing item. Especially on Pokemon that were never supposed to evolve and then did evolve, and it's like, well, their defense stats are great. I'm looking at Chansey. I'm looking at, uh. Who else am I looking at? Chansey and Scyther. No other examples. Uh, this is probably gonna be a Fire Fang. Do I want to go into Licks, maybe? I think I want to go into Licks. It could just it could just kill Licks. I could be in real trouble here. Fire Fang could miss, I think, too. Doesn't it have a chance of missing. Um, what was that? That was my. Oh, that was there. I'm gonna kill. Fire Fang. Fire Fang, what a good bring. Actually, we lived that real good. And Earthquake is a great option now. They still have the Apple Ton. So maybe I still knock off. I'm gonna knock off because nothing else, everything else has its item. They withdrew Bolt Ton. Smart, smart. Uh, okay, and went into the Apple Ton. So we're going to take some Rocky Helmet damage here, but it's good to know that Lix eats up whatever potential uh, 
uh, uh, bolt ton damage comes our way. Maybe it's not banded. Maybe I'm crazy. I'd love to go into Grim and get a Roost off here. Uh, we got the Mimikyu gone. Okay, okay. We're fighting our way back here. Appleton could go down, and then maybe 3-3. Three, three. If I can explode on that uh, Bolton, that'd be amazing. But I can't do that until... Like, Bolton has to die. Because Bolton kills Rotom, and it kills um, Scyther. And I don't like that. Appleton's not going to die to this poison, which is actually a good thing. Because now it means I can roost. And if I think Bolton's going to go for a Fire Fang, I don't think that's going to kill Scyther. I think that I might be able to take out Bolton with Scyther if Scyther has a little more HP. I think so. And based on how Izzy's playing, I think Izzy's probably going to switch out Appleton here. I don't think Izzy's just going to let a Pokemon go down when... Like, Izzy's in control of whether or not this Appleton dies right now. Um, and why give up a Pokemon when she's up by one? Okay, we got the Roost. That's amazing. Recover! Okay. I think I'm gonna Swords Dance. I think I'm gonna Swords Dance. I haven't revealed it yet. But I think I'm gonna Swords Dance. Um, because... Oh, man, the Bolton will probably just go for an electric move next time, but... Oh no, 60 seconds. I missed the three-minute one. We could win because of HP, honestly. Uh, I have to kill this thing, but if I do, then I think we might. I think we might. Not how I want to win, obviously, but... Okay, I just bug bite. I probably should have uh, should have gone for dual wing beat because that would have killed Tentacruel if Izzy wants to switch into Tentacruel right now. But I forget how much damage Tentacruel took. And if the Axel Gore is sashed, then I could have gone for dual wing beat and killed it. Izzy may also just be waiting until the timer ends, which is a valid strategy. I lost to Izzy. Battle ended. Um, I mean, good game. You know, obviously I wanted to do some more flashy things, and especially because it didn't matter who won this battle. Um, I just wanted to like play around and do some crazy stuff. Uh, we didn't get Belch off. We didn't get Explosion off. Bummer. Good game to Izzy. Uh, hey, take every win you can get. Uh, no love lost there. Um, definitely uh, go check out Izzy. Information will be in the description below. Yeah, just bummed that flashier stuff didn't happen. Uh, I think that's all. I wanted to I wanted to get something good in the thumbnail for y'all. I guess you're gonna see a, a Dynamax Salazzle that ended up being a bust. Really great, really great plays to Izzy on that specific matchup. Um, but otherwise, hey, you know, play the timer if you gotta play the timer. That's totally a valid strategy. I hate the timer. You know, I hate the timer. There's like one battle. I think last week I didn't say anything about timer, and I should have because timer is the worst in this gen. Um, but if, if timer exists, it's within the rule set and you need to play the timer, uh, if that's your win con. So, you know, good game to Izzy. Uh, and, and no, I'm not going to knock Izzy for, for, you know, wasting down the time at the end there. Totally, totally valid. Especially because I was about to knock out one of our Pokemon. Let's be honest. Uh, anyway, thanks so much for checking out this video. Uh, definitely like, comment, and subscribe, uh, if you're ready for the crown tundra because that content is coming up so soon i'm so excited for the crown tundra uh, i forgot what it was like to play new pokemon uh and it feels like the isle of armor was just a little bit of a taste of what the crown tundra is going to be in terms of story it feels like the crown tundra is going to have a lot more story if not more mechanics added because well no there's some new pokemon coming in Anyway, I'm going to cover all that stuff, so follow if you're not already following. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed. That's what it is on this website, right? My name is Berm. Until next time, see you later.